all right how do you guys <laughs> we are back and we're again going to be at brown's hatch and hopefully this time it will be a bit cleaner of a race no more disgusting driving and hopefully we can actually keep it clean as well so let's jump in now i don't know who to look out for this time but i have a feeling that i'm probably going to be having another bit of a, a scrap with the bmw probably going to have an issue with that mustang again as well even though we've got a 71 mustang uh, in there as well i've got another corvette in there somewhere uh, obviously there's going to be probably another version of my car in here somewhere as well so i know i am going to have to be careful against these guys so i will have to always be careful with it i'm trying to keep it as clean as possible without losing anything and making a mess of any corners break a bit earlier as well. Try and avoid going up into third for a minute. Just wait to go around these guys. Now what do you expect if you can sit on the line and block? Give that Camaro just a gentle tap. Let's go up them. Just a little bit. Run that Camaro out. Just nip under this guy. Just get a bit drifty through there. Might be able to hold that one at a high speed. Probably not though. Just hesitate one in there. Break a little earlier. Just pull it in, try and see if I can keep some power in there. Give it a moment of drift, why not? Since it is a bit of a drift machine. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> apologies for not finishing off the summarising of the uh, Pleasure Beach one as well. I was having a few edit problems because every time I tried to record it there was massive sound errors all over. So I just thought, you know what, sack it. I ain't fighting with it at this time of night. So, to keep the one a day schedule going, I just put it out as is and printed out the finals all on the back of fat paper basically so it was easier doing it that way Apart from one or two moments, it's actually not going too bad in this race so far. Yeah, I say that, and I see that beamer right up in front. So
Lex's boy is trying to push me into a drift. What next? I'll put myself off by going for a bit of a drift. Ah, what's he going to ruin in his day if I can't be bothered? Mm. Bomb on and go after the Canadian. And next up after this one is going to be another run around into Lagos, I think. I think so that Supra that's right behind me is effectively a BMW. If any of you guys out there know anything about the new Supra, it is effectively a BMW because of that straight six. It's supplied by BMW. It's basically a BMW Supra. I did not think this was going to be the fight that I will be having at Brands. Really did not think this would be the fight I will be having at Brands. I am trying hard to keep ahead of this guy. I am actually really trying hard to keep ahead of him. This is going to be a really hard fought one. I'm going to have to really place the car very well through here. Oh, and I really did not think I was going to get that one. I really didn't think I was going to get that. Just under half a second between us. My word was that tight. Still keeping the car handicap. Anyway guys, that'll about do it for this one. And I will exit out of here and just show you that our next race is going to be back 
at Interlagos. That will be the final one in this mini series. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Do I go on and do like a boxer race or uh, all wheel drive, do the TT, so the uh, Toys Trophy, do J Sport, do a group B, a group B a rally cross, something like that. Even do Super Legends. One thing I haven't got, I haven't got any of the uh, Super Formula cars, something I need to try to get my paws on. Or do I even go into doing live racing, so actually against the public? Whatever your suggestions are, smack them down below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, sub, fave, share. Everything will help us. And that's me out. So that is going to be Foxstar1397 signing off for the night. Peace.